Hi, this is Mike with Vortex Gaming. Uh, just going over some tips and tricks on how to create your own custom Battlefield 6 map. Just kind of want to show how I did this and fill in the blanks with some of the other tutorials. I've seen, I watched a lot of step-by-step -step tutorials and there were a lot of parts and pieces missing that really threw me off for quite a few hours while getting this going. All right, for starters, you're gonna actually go to portal.battlefield.com. This is where you're gonna log in to actually start creating your map. Again, I'm not gonna give a full walkthrough. There's guides on how to do this. Uh, if you do go to create new, you're gonna see two options. You're gonna see portal custom and verified modes. If you're not looking to make a custom map and you're just looking to change settings or you know make it snipers only or make some sort of rule set, then you go to the verified modes and you can just start right from here to get started. And it's pretty much plug and play, walk through setting everything up and get it going. However, if you want to make your own map, you do click on the portal custom and set up the default here. This is not where you're going to start, though. We'll come back to this after you already have your map made. But just wanted to define those two because a lot of the guides, I was very confused at which one I use. Um, so if you're like me, you're actually going to start with this one, the default uh, for Portal Custom. So this is the program. Um, it's called Godot. And this is what you use to actually create the maps. As you can see, I am on the Firestorm map, but I deleted all the assets that were there and built my little custom um, box here that everyone can snipe in and added my own assets. Uh, if you come down to the bottom, there is a trick. You're going to go down to Object Library. And then you're going to choose the map you're on. So you can only add assets that are available for the map that you chose when you when you first set up the program and started your scene. So since I'm on Firestorm, I'm going to go ahead and choose the Firestorm at the object library button at the very bottom down here. You can also press this button to the right. The little up area is expand bottom panel. It's also shift F12. This will kind of give you a bigger screen so you can kind of go through and search. Uh, all the items and assets that are available for this map. And then you can press this button again to kind of shrink it if you want to add a new object to the map here. When you are moving around with WASD, you right click to hold to look around and then you can use WASD to move around. While moving, if you scroll, you can change the scroll speed. So if you really want to start flying really fast, you can do that. Or if you want to slow it down, you can slow it down that way. So again, just hold the right click move with WASD and scroll your mouse wheel while holding right click to change the speed. So one trick that I, I was trying to figure out was where do I set up all the rules and gameplay information? Uh, and unless you're an expert, to the best of my knowledge, you don't do any of that in this program. This program is strictly just for the design work for your map layout. Um, so you're going to set up your terrain, set up your objects, get everything going in this program, and then you're going to export it back to that web portal and that's where we're actually going to do all the rule sets. So I spent a long time in here looking how to set up scripts and do all the rules in here and changing settings on the objects. Don't do any of that to the best of my knowledge. And correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I set up my whole map without having to do any of that in here. If you actually come to the scripts tab, I have nothing in my scripts tab here. If you're advanced, you're an expert, you really want to get into some custom stuff. I'm sure you will use this. Uh, but if you're just looking to create a quick map and get going like I did, I, I didn't have to set up any scripts and I wasted so many hours trying to do that. So file size, I ran into an issue where my map was actually like four gigabytes and I couldn't upload it to the server because it was too large. Um, so I Googled and launched a tutorial that showed me that if you add this node 3D here, you press the plus button on scene, go to node 3D, and then add that, and then I moved all my assets to underneath that node 3D. Um, that's actually all I did. I didn't have to change anything or do anything, but then when I exported the second time, um, it actually is only 56 kilobytes. Um, so it went from four gigs to 56 kilobytes by adding that node 3D here. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what that does, but hey, it worked for me. So if you're having a file size issue, uh, go ahead and merge everything under node 3D. Then when you're ready to export, you're going to actually press this export current level button. This will save the scene and then export it um, to your exports folder. That is the button right underneath it. Uh, you're going to use this in the next part when you're actually uploading to the web portal. So this is where my file is. It's the MP Firestorm JSON here. So to actually get your um, file uploaded, 
you're going to come back to portal.battlefield.com and you're going to come to this section where it'll show create new start editing import from file you're not going to do any of this import from file or any of this here this is what threw me off for hours so if you were having the trouble of figuring out how to get your map onto the actual game and which by the way you can test it before publishing so we'll talk about that in a second too before you actually um, can test it you need to get it onto the server here so you're actually going to create new here you're going to go down to portal custom not the verified bugs again this is if you want to set up a pre-made map but if you're doing a custom map you're going to go to portal custom default and start editing okay when you're in here, you're only going to see like game time. There's like not many options in the beginning here. That's fine. Set it to whatever you want it to be, 20 minutes, whatever. You're going to either press map rotation at the bottom right or go to map rotation on the menu down here to the left. And then you're going to select the map that you loaded into the Godot program. So this is where I was stuck. I was trying to like press this button up here to import, export, and add the map and do all those things. And that does not work. You're going to remove the map rotation that's there with the little minus key. You're going to find the map that you built off of, which mine was Operation Firestorm or MP Firestorm, Map Firestorm. Okay. Whatever map you selected, you're going to bring just that map in here. And you're going to see this button right here. Attach a, a, a JSON for this map. This is where I was stuck. You press this button, choose the one you exported, and now you have your custom map in the game ready to start configuring. You can delete this JSON and upload a new JSON if you need. And then, uh, you know, I was doing like version one, version two, while I was trying to test and figure it out. So feel free to, you know, replace and remove that. Now that you have your map actually in the game, um, and you're starting to configure everything. This is where you're going to set out all the rules and everything. You're going to come here and you could simply just change all your, your settings here with point and click. Um, if you don't know what something is, you could press this little I and it'll kind of explain what each feature is. Um, and then, you know, soldier settings, vehicle settings, DUI if you want to turn off the map, uh, bots if you want AI. Now this is very basic AI stuff that's built in here. You can do custom rules later. Choose your different classes, choose what weapons you want and what vehicles you want, gadgets. And then this is the rules editor. To create the game that I created, which was just a simple snipers only, four on four, seven minute timer, you know, high score wins. I did not have to set up any rules. However, you can, but you can watch the 2042 rule guides to learn how this works because the portal from 2042 has the same kind of rule set here. Um, so gameplay, you know, deploy all players, you can set different actions and different logic and kind of set up rules here. I do not know this part, so I just wanted to mention that you do not have to do this to get your game going. That's all I kind of wanted to say there. Um, you can use all the pre-built uh, modifiers and and settings in this menu um, to really get a fun game going where well, you get to the rules editor when you're ready to actually get advanced and watch some guides on that but you do not require it to get it going all right so now you've got your map in you've got your um, your restrictions your modifiers and your settings kind of all figured out the last tab here is going to be the publish this is where you're going to set your name and your description and do all that right okay so you know the test tester you know just set up your stuff go to step two choose an icon go to step three make sure it all looks good you are going to create new you're not going to publish this yet but you are going to create new down at the bottom right corner here um, this will save it same thing as the save button up here okay and then this will save it and create new so we created test tester okay do not submit to publishing at the bottom you're not ready for that. Make sure it says unpublished at the top right. Now that it's sitting here as an unpublished, well, that's my published one, sitting here as an unpublished test, you see that? Now you can log into the game and actually test it out before publishing it, making it go live and having to wait two or three hours for them to approve it. You can come in the game and test it out, make sure it's all working, and then go ahead and publish it when you're ready. I saw a lot of people complaining on the forums and on Reddit and, and on all the posts that there's no way to test the game. That's untrue. 
save it as an unpublished experience in your experiences, load the game up, and I'm gonna show you where to go. All right, so you're to the point where you have your unpublished game. It's sitting in the portal website. You have not published it yet, and you wanna come and test it out, okay? So you load up the game here. You're gonna keep scrolling down, keep going, and you're gonna see search experiences. You're gonna go one more. This is where you'll find other people's published experiences, but you're gonna go down here to my experiences under community experiences, click this. And under my experiences, you're gonna see the ones that you created. So I haven't got to the point where mine actually has a map and is tested, but you'll see where your experiences are and in here will be your test experience. This is where you'll come and you'll actually test out the map and make sure that it's working before you actually go ahead and publish the server. So when you come to my experiences here, you'll see your, your test experience. And I, I wrote my title as like, you know, test versions, version one, test version two, just so that way if I did an update or I saved something new, I knew it was already updated in the game, ready for me to test the new version. Um, but this is where you're gonna go. You'll click here and you're just gonna host locally. This is gonna allow you to just play it locally on your computer and test out all your settings, make sure that your settings are working, making sure that your timers are working, making sure that your map assets are loading, making sure that everything is working before you go ahead and publish. Now, every time I went in here, I tested something, I saw something wasn't working, I did have to go back to the go dot, you know, go back to the builder, come into here, save it, export it again, upload it to the portal, and then resave it uh, to that portal again under that JSON file that I showed you before. Uh, like I said, I changed the title to version two, version three, just so that way when I came back to the game, um, I, you know, I went back to my experiences, I was able to see that the new version was loaded and ready for me to test. All right, once you've tested everything and everything is good and it's working exactly the way you want, then you're simply gonna come back to your portal.battlefield.com see your unpublished experience and press this publish button when you press this publish button it will take some hours uh as the uh the devs there they will check it make sure things are proper and working they're not going to test your game they're going to make sure that you're following the rules um and as long as you're following the rules uh then your game will get published and then you'll see it under your publish section uh where then you can join in and find it if you load into the game and go to the search experiences, you'll be able to sort by your experiences to find it, but you'll also have a code where you can uh, you can search for that information. So you can share, if I go here and share, you can see what your experience code is. You can also search by that in the game under the, the search experiences section. So if you wanna share that with friends, it's easier to just give them your code rather than trying to find the only snipers map when there's 97 of them out there that say only snipers like mine. I hope that's answered a lot of your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to leave uh, any of them in the comments. I'll try to get back to them. If you do want a full tutorial step-by-step -step from start to finish on how this works, let me know. I'll consider making that video too. And that way it includes my tips and tricks because I'll tell you, I watched the four or five videos that were out there already and none of them were big helps there and it, it took a lot of research to figure out how to just get this uploaded the first day so hopefully by the next few days there's full tutorials that'll do it but if you need anything let me know and maybe i'll make that video thanks for watching my video hope these tricks helped you out and saved you a bunch of time have fun in battlefield we'll see you out there